Hey everybody, my name is Forgotti and I wanted to talk about some news. I look like I'm happy, but deep down inside, everything is falling apart. I don't know if I want to tell the good news first or the bad news. Ah, screw it, I'm going to flip a coin. Best, uh, best uh, two out of three. Heads? Oh yeah, heads, good news, tails, bad news. Two heads, okay, I guess I'll talk about the, bad, the good news first. Uh, okay, so the good news, the, 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 the one single good news. Well, actually, no, two single, two good news. I built a new computer. That's right. I finally built a new computer after my computer being 12 goddamn years old, or at least the stuff in the computer being 12 years old. I finally built a brand new computer. It has, let me just put the specs up. Hmm. I'll, I'll literally just put put up the specs because I really just don't want to name it all all off. It's a goddamn mouthful. But compared to my old setup, it is far better. Like now that I'm actually um, now that I am actually starting to install games and play them and test them, there's a massive, significant difference compared to a computer that was built. In 12 years ago versus tech that was literally only just came out maybe three or four years ago and currently the CPU that I have is a 12th gen Intel CPU which is good because the 13th and 14th gen I've heard is really really bad so I literally got a CPU that is the best Intel has made uh, currently which is sad I guess they I guess buying AMD uh, is really like it looks like AMD really is the king of CPUs. Their graphics cards are horrible, but hey, it looks like AMD is the king of CPUs. Okay, well, that's the only good news. Oh, wait, no, there's another good news. Um, with my CPU being completely brand new and being far more superior than my old CPU, I can now render videos very fast. Originally, a 30-minute video took two to four hours to render. And a one hour video would sometimes take six to eight hours. So I would literally have to render it overnight while I'm sleeping. But I tested last night and I was able to render a video in under 10 minutes. So that is really, really good. So now I can actually start making two videos per day, maybe, which is great. So people are going to see you. You're going to see more of me and I'm going to get through YouTube series way faster now. So it's going to be really good. And I cannot wait to do that. Now for the bad news, because that's the only two good news. Is everything comes, goes way downhill. Way, way downhill. I, I swear to God, I can't catch a break. I don't know what God I offended or pissed off. Or I don't know who I hurt to deserve this. But the, the universe just goddamn hates me. It's like it wants me to, to just do a villain arc. But um, when, my, when I installed my new computer, it completely hard wiped my hard drive. So I lost everything. So all of my photos that had goofy um, photos of me that I put in my thumbnails. Yeah, those are gone. I had to start from scratch. So I lost some stuff that I, I don't think I can get back. So that might be problematic. So I'm going to have to try to figure out a way to recover all of it. So yeah, I have lost some stuff that, and I had to start from scratch. Um, my OBS is screwed up completely, so I need to figure out how to fix my OBS. Um, so yeah, that's really, 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 really annoying. Uh, also, my voice meter banana, which synchronizes all of my audio into different channels so that nothing overlaps each other, so that I always create the best quality audio for my videos, has also been screwed over. And apparently they really updated the software and now I have to figure out what the hell is what because I'm super, super confused as to what to do and how to do it. Now for even more bad news, because trust me, it's going to get worse. Uh, because my computer hard reset, my Windows 10 also got reset. And since I can only use a Windows 10 key once because Microsoft is a son of a bitch company that's a greedy ass piece of garbage, um freaking uh tech monopoly uh i have to pay for windows 10 
and Windows 10 is not cheap. It can range around 150 to 180. And so I had to spend hundreds of dollars just to be able to have activated Windows 10. And the annoying thing is I can't record because every time I try to goddamn record that stupid freaking activate Windows watermark pops up. I hate whoever who designed that. Whoever who designed that, I hope that they're having the worst life imaginable. I'm talking the full, their wife divorced and left them. They're fi in financial ruin. I, I hope that when they die, they go to the deepest pit of hell because whoever designed that disgusting, evil watermark is a scumbag of absolute highest degree. They're a $3.2 billion company. Or not billion, trillion. They're a $3.2 trillion dollar company and they're so goddamn greedy like no wonder why they're worth trillions i mean look at how much they milked from their goddamn um people who buy their stuff so yeah that really pisses me off i can't record for a while until i can fix this activated window so a lot of people sadly uh you guys won't see me for a while as i'm trying to because i want to create the best quality content as possible and i'm not going to let my videos get stained by microsoft because bill gates needs more money for his super mansion the little nerd didn't deserve a single thing in life he dropped out of freaking college on his third semester and became a multi-billionaire what a scumbag bill gates is like screw that little weasel screw microsoft too like fuck microsoft so yeah, uh, Microsoft screwed me over. So yay, that's great. And let's see what else. Oh yeah, also, apparently, since speaking of Microsoft, because apparently this is just Microsoft screwing me over edition, Discord got bought by Microsoft. And I'm starting to re realize why. Because they had the same uh, company motto. Uh, milk your, milk your uh, community like suckers and give them nothing and be as lazy as possible. So no wonder why Microsoft bought Discord because they legitimately have the same ideology. So I had a, micro, a Discord account with two-factor authentication and my the software that I used for two-factor authentication was a desktop app. Apparently the desktop app discontinued a really long time ago and they never actually contacted me about it. And my backup keys, my 10 backup keys, apparently also freaking uh, corrupted on my USB stick. So I tried to contact Discord repeatedly asking them, can I, is there any way that you can get me back into my account? And they, the, the jackasses had the audacity to be like, oh, we can't, it's a breach of our pr terms of service and privacy. We can't get you in. It, it breaches privacy, bullshit, Discord. When did you assholes ever care about privacy? Legitimately, when did you scumbags ever care about privacy? You steal the private information of your users all the time, and 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 talk and, and so you're you're telling me that oh you can't lo un lo unlock my account? Like what if a bad guy, goddamn, did something bad and put something on his Discord account? And imagine the FBI needed to get into it. Are you going to refuse the United States government because, oh, the two-factor authentication can't be unlocked because, oh, I, I don't know if the government has some way to unlock two-factor authentication without Discord or, like, the two-factor authentication company's help. But still, like, it's imagine just refusing, like, oh, we can't, we can't. So, yeah, Discord's um, staff and has been super helpful, super helpful. I think, actually, truthfully, a nine-year-old with the, the attention span of a goldfish and the uh, in, in a, a room temperature IQ would be more useful than those sons of bitches. So yeah, I lost my Discord account. I was also the owner of a Destiny 2 clan and it had a large community. So I don't know how that's going to turn out. So yeah, eight years of, of uh, history all wiped away because Discord's two-factor authentication system is so garbage. Like, my God, I mean, when I have Google and YouTube, they give me a hundred million ways to two-factor authenticate from everything from email address to goddamn driver's license to even the pin on my, my and computer. They give me so many different ways to two-factor authenticate. And, and like, Discord's only got two. It's this, oh, use a cell phone app or use backup codes. 
And apparently, if you lose both of them, you're completely out of luck. So I've asked them to terminate my account because I don't, I don't need, uh, I don't want to like waste time and not be able to make a new Discord account and tell my friends, hey, I kind of got screwed over by Discord. So yeah, fuck Discord. Uh, I love how they're such a lazy company that allows um, illegal activity on their set, um, software. And also they allow questionable things that the FBI should be looking into. And they also allow not safe for work stuff. There's absolute scumbags, dis the, the people at Discord. I swear to God, I, if you probably went into the home computers of some of these guys they would maybe get arrested by the FBI. I 100% like did the discord, the crew, the owners of discord and the people developing it. They're scumbags. They're absolute scumbags. They're lazy, unintelligent idiots. Like screw them. No wonder why Microsoft liked them so much. So yeah, I got fucked over by Microsoft. I got fucked over by my discord. So yeah, that, that's just wonderful. So I, I can't record content. I can't do anything. Now for the even more bullshit news. And I can't wait. I cussed so much. I bet YouTube's going to completely censor this because YouTube is as crappy as all these other tech um, companies. Um, I, my favorite cat, Ferrari. Uh, I'm going to put up his photo. That's him as a baby. I really love him and I've always loved him with all my heart and soul. And he's been the perfect cat for me. He passed away. I don't know how old he was. He maybe was 12 or 13 years old, but he goddamn passed away. And it breaks my heart. This was the worst way to end the damn week. My cat goddamn died. And it, and I, I, I don't know what to say about it. I, I feel sad, but I, I, I've been living in such a horrible uh, um, hellhole for such a long time. I don't know if I have this the, the ability to cry anymore. I don't know if that means I'm losing a piece of my soul every year or something. But I feel more angry than sad. Like, yeah, my cat died. My cat died. I gave him a final hug and I buried him. And I gave him a little mausoleum. And I hope that he can go to a better place, better than where I'm going. That's for sure. So, yeah, my cat died. And he was my favorite. Like, I loved him so much. He was such a perfect cat. You have no idea how perfect of a cat he was. He was like a dog. You could call his name. He would come. You would say his name. He would meow back. He didn't respond. Um, when you picked him up, he would like grab his hands around your face and like hug you and start kissing you. He was such an adorable cat. He was the most loving cat that I've ever owned. And I, you rarely ever see a cat like that on the internet. Like the uh, cats like that is like a one in a million. And he was such a unique cat. Like the way he just looked, he kind of looked like a wild lynx more than a, a household cat. And he was such a sweet cat. Like, he was a predator. He could rip apart someone's jugular if he wanted to. But he never did that. He only... And he really, really loved me. And it's it's so painful that I lost him. He was such an amazing cat. And I really am angry that my YouTube channel failed so badly. Because I really wanted to give my cat, like, a really great life. And, like, a really nice home. And he'll never get to see that or experience that. Because he died and my YouTube channel never grew in success. So, yay. So, yeah, that, I'm just really just all out, just completely angry. Just completely angry. Everything has been so... Like, I hate my life so much. Like, like the moment I think it's going to be good, it just goes immediately overboard and just goes into nothing but crap and crap and more crap. And I can't keep... Can't, yeah. <laughs> I just can't ha keep having this happen to me. Can I just have one week where I can just rest like Thanos and just be just at peace that everything's clean, everything's accomplished, everything's just fine. There's nothing on fire. There's nothing. In, there's no emergencies. Can I have one week where it's not like that? So, yeah, I'm going to try my hardest to try to get Windows 10 key, uh, a key so that I can be able to um, start uploading more content for you guys. But, but currently, uh, oh, yay, there's a Black Widow on my wall. Why? Why? Oh, God, it's actually coming. Okay, apparently there's a Black Widow now in my room. 
I just can't catch a break. I feel like my sanity is on the brink of collapse. <laughs> I really feel like that. Oh, God. And the worst part is I only have like a week or two before classes start up again at the university on like August 1st. Oh, God. It's just I just cannot catch a break. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what's going on, everyone. I just wanted to quickly let you know and inform you and keep you up to date. I'm going to try my hardest to get back as soon as possible to upload a lot more content for you guys. But currently everything in my life's on fire. And every time I think uh, it's going to get good and brighter and better, it just gets way, way, way worse. And I feel so bad for my cat Ferrari. I feel so bad for him. By the way, th here's a photo of him uh, days before he died. I at least have that to remember him by... I'm really going to miss my cat. So, yeah. Uh, I have to end it here. I really do not want to make another video of this. So, I'll see all of you very soon. <laughs> see ya.